Hello there. In this video, I want to look on my installations of Stable Diffusion and answer the questions. What extensions do I use it or I like it and I recommend for you to use it with your Stable Diffusion. Of course, we have it all these different versions. We have the Comp UI, we have it Stable Metrics, we have it all of these. For my example, I will be using Automatic 11.11 installations. This is one of the first kind of most popular was come out. And of course, all of those extensions, they will work in many of them as well. If you're using Comp UI with the nodes or other things, you may have it a little bit different, but in general, they will be the same. Okay, let's look on our extensions, what we're using. For this, when you run Stable Diffusion in this case, I would recommend going to Extension tab. Let's go right here, and you will have it a list. Notice in my list, some of them check, some uncheck. Uncheck it, it's meaning they are disabled. And I would recommend for you to enable only those extensions that you're going currently use it, because many of them may reuse the same libraries and sometimes I found it could be conflict if using two extensions they may utilize same libraries or same calls or other things and they start conflicting and certainly you'll notice it just crashing and does not generate anything and that is probably reason and by the way this is always good goal if for some reason your stable diffusion does not do what you want just uncheck those extensions because extension developed by programmers you know by people like me who sometimes may feel sleepy and did not do good job so in this case be sure you just created okay let me adjust my windows there you go okay so let's look what we have here and of course when we open window be sure how I said it's applied it's check it and before you almost take this for the rule Go ahead and click check for the update. What it does is connect to the server and check if you have the latest versions. For example, I know for sure I don't have the latest versions here. And when you do, you'll notice like control net have it new and it says, hey, new versions there. And you want to update it because general what I done my um, stable diffusion is always verified for the newest, newest updates. And when it does, it's actually fine like right here and you can see it's installing some new updates if it does for the stable diffusion and when it's installed it, of course the control some of those extensions will be out of sync and it's very good to update them some of those extensions will require restart your server or what you're running even it's maybe look like it's updated so I almost always recommend just go update those ones they're using and just restart your server. So be sure everything is up to date and working. And if for some reason you're missing some of these extensions, what I'm going to show you, be sure you just can go and install by yourself. For this, you can go inside the uh, tab called install from URL. If you have a specific URL where you're going to, or you can click on available. In this case, it just will show you list what is a register with a stable diffusion of Tabantic 1111 as extensions. It's not necessarily all of them. Some of them you actually need to take and put a path in. Again, install from URL. You can copy and paste path there. Or if you find, install directly from here, which is probably better because it's more packaging towards this. And also, if you want just browse and maybe discover your own uh, jam here you can always just select uh, notice in this case it's called it's check install it so it will ignore and hide don't show my installed um, extensions because i don't want to confuse and also you can add all additional properties and preview this way you can have it newest first which is show with the latest updates what people create and then put it and of course you can have start the most popular or how many people upload it uh, be careful when you have it for with the news because it's kind of experimental Pe people maybe got too excited create something uploaded and it's maybe conflicted with something so uh, just uh, beware of this that some code may be not uh, properly fully functional that you maybe want to use it Okay, after you click and install it, it's easy, just click button, install or other things. After time, it should showing in your list of install it, the plugin or extension in this case. Remember, when you've done this, just click on this closed server, 
restart your server again reload it so it will properly update it because many of those extensions may use it different libraries and it's necessary when it's loading going outside and pull those libraries on installation so even it will say here is installed they're not fully installed so it won't be fully functional and as well some people ask why i don't have this in the tab on top like would you have it that probably reason because not fully install it and maybe sometimes they're hiding okay so let's say let's go over what we have here you'll notice some extensions it is already pre-installed when you install um, stable diffusion after article end of 11 so loris and everything before you can download it now it's come in a package which is very nice same as a with control net but for some reason if you're missing this is a number one extension you must have it is control net and control net come with all additional libraries that allowed you to calculate pause depth and everything we're using like almost in everything control net the number one i will say extensions you must have it right here the next from this point you can go um, play around which one like it but i recommend install like civic ai browse for this you would need to have it account with civic ai but it's allowed you to browse the model um, from civic browse so you type search and it's kind of nice because you can upload it you can update and directly get it in automatic 11 11 some of this new models or laura or some other things directly from civic ai so it's kind of very nice good um plugin in other ones if you would like to do automations it's have uh, animations it's have several different animations one and i would recommend for you to go check some of my videos where i have it but general it will be cdc and animations which created one we also have it additional animations extender which some of them um, if you look on videos can take uh, create small kind of like g uh, animated j files or can create some other um, animations kind of fun around from all animations I would recommend for you go ahead and try the wave to leap studio this is not like a full full uh, diffusion animations which will look in a second but that one is allowed you to take uh, some animations take your portrait take a sound and a link all together by the way I am working on a special video with uh, me my face and uh, some other things that will be funny hopefully and surprising and i will show you how it's used it. so be sure you um click on the subscribe button like check all the stuff and be sure you click notification so you know when that video is out uh, it's take me a little bit longer because i need create stop motion animations for this but i think that one will be quite a bit funny so be sure you check that as well Okay, let's go back to our extensions what we have it so we have it this animations we have it the forum currently you see it's a disabled because i'm using wave to leap and it will be a little bit conflicting there but that one the forum is one of the powerful animations i highly recommend for you to install it because it's have a lot of uh, properties and options you can actually animate so if you're with this the face chain and other ones it is allowed to work with the uh, um kind of overpose your face on the or face whatever you want it on the generated image so kind of work very nice many people may use it face fusion or face uh, swap lab this is similar in a different some people prefer one on another ones but again play with them and this is usually face chain face swap face lab those two will work kind of around there um actually you know what uh, let's look what i have let's go down the list you know this is maybe work because i play a lot of with those extensions and i think that maybe is will work better so after photoshop stable diffusion it is photoshop firefly you can use the ai inside the photoshop however you need to be online and connected to the photoshop server so you actually send information constantly to photoshop and it's uh, maybe sucks you know i don't want to say good but 
that way you can have it, your own stable diffusion running with your own model with your own uh, everything and you can do this through the inside the photoshop so it's kind of very nice plugin um, sdsn animations allow you to create short animations which has work very well and kind of fun way to do it um so we'll set holocrits lip animation we'll skip that one kind of Serum temporal kit it more for the animations created you can notice i have it sometimes a lot of them because i like to play around yes find out which one working but those ones we can skip it the form as said before you need have it this one same as abc utility which allow to analyze frames and create good animations that is as as well i will recommend if you in animations so recommend you to have it um give to give give to give or give to give depending on how you say it it is um create from one image to animate it nice to create it like animated maps maybe you know it's kind of cool one open pose editor allowed you to um additional you know like in a pose in a control net you have a pose you can analyze so in this case you have the sticky figures from sticks and you can just you know adjust hands arms and kind of creating this way if you want specific pose to assign to this okay step animations allowed you to take animations of your renders per step it's a nice for um, watching how the diffusion work just for the demo of things uh, probably you want don't want that one at all wave to leap I love this application so I'll say wait for till we have the other ones and watch my other video about the wave leap what I did before it kind of fun easy for the adjustments we can skip this animated diff yes you wanted that obviously web UI comfy UI if you like work with the nodes when you're creating but you like also create this inside automatic 11 11 environment so this is will work it's like take comfy ui and slap as a tab inside here so you can play and create with nodes inside control net it's without questions you must have this one um deeply we skip face fusion face lab i know many people like this so if you want to apply movie to movie ocr this is a movie to movie it's create a video if you want to um have it one video and kind of overlay so it will utilize control net for the posing and other elements um kind of fun ways you can create short animations ocr it is uh, recognitions also if you notice in one time i created use the qr code and you can create kind of almost like render embedded in this so that one is kind of cool for this okay panorama tool let's take your image and creating 360 or panoramic if you need it uh very nice if you work with video gaming and sometimes you want to create background like this uh, it's work nice but not as i expected so that one you can keep qr code it's what another ones what i said um a roop another face swapping things and that one is ultra popular so you definitely want to try install a roop same with temporal text to video creating short video animations very nice people like it it's a very nice um application very nice extensions um not uh, too powerful but i think it's worked very well okay dream booth that one another if you want train the model if you want to do this that one you probably must have uh, but that one will complete uh, conflict it with your other extensions as well so that one is almost like by itself need be i have a problem sometimes with this so we have it um stable cascade it is another right here actually right here and you can see this has allowed us to um kind of more define with prompts you can play a uh, faster render if you remember stable cascade so it's the newest it's just another version variation uh for this i found this uh, not necessarily always work as i attend i think so, have some conflict between what models i personally use it's will require a little bit more for me to research to give you full information but it's supposed to work okay and of course diffusion web ui ram g so it's a very move the ground that one is work very well and i would recommend for you if you do compositing because you actually can take select the model and remove background and put it different so work very well with the photos and everything so this is what install on 
the specific installations. And the reason why I say specific installations is because I actually have about six, seven just stable diffusion like these different installations. So what I like it because they're standalone. I can experiment with them. I can mess up with everything. And after if need, I can nuke it or destroy the directory, you know, and reinstall it. But in this case, sometimes have it multiple installations. So I need, don't need go and re-enable control nets here um, just to run another ones. It will work very well if you don't have a problem with hard drive space. If you limit it on a hard drive space, then you can manage one way. If you are okay with hard drive space, have it plenty, I probably would recommend you to install different um, instance of this on the hard drive and just launch which one you want it. In this case, you don't need to go worry and be sure, oh, this enable, this disable, all the stuff. So it's what usually I do. Well, thank you for watching. Hopefully this is answer some of your questions about what extensions I'm using currently on my machine, my machine, what I'm playing. I would be interested to know what extensions you're using, what you like it, and let me know if I miss something. That is very fun and interesting to find out. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.